Tell us about the uh, interview with the Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, so that was, it was a kind of a weird kind of all day interview? Yeah, so when Rolling Stone does a cover story, it's like they, they hang out, you know, you hang out with this journalist for a couple days and they just, you just hang out. If you drive around, they're sitting there. If you go to lunch, we hang, it's like a thing. And it was a huge deal for me to have a cover of Rolling Stone. It still is, like for me, that's like, oh, like, it's a big yeah. angel singing moment. And so, of course, like, I was just like, be your best self today. Like, be, <laughs> like if you're gonna drive, you drive the best you've driven. Like, if you're gonna, <laughs> like, and also you're like, how do I be real and not like pre be pretending to be real? Like, when I'm clearly like, I know this is a journalist, like, <laughs> ugh. But through all that, I was just like, okay, so I'm gonna take him on a day that I, it's this journalist named Brian Hyatt who's the coolest and like, Take him on a day, I'm going to rehearsals, it's normal, and I'm just gonna drive him, because that's what I normally do. Be your best self at driving. And I got in two car accidents <gasps> <laughs> with him in the car. Oh. One was my fault, one was not. One was an I'm sorry, the second one was a you're welcome, I saved your life. He got <laughs> sideswiped. But I was like, I was fully panicking, and when we got sideswiped, I think he screamed out something like, I have a new baby at home! <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is not gonna be a good cover story for me. Like, this is gonna be good for people reading it, but not for me.